So this episode is entirely going to be through delivery apps, just so that we can keep safe, keep our physical distance, and stay at home to help support our frontline workers. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to uh, a brand new episode for Best Of, and it's the Best Of Delivery slash Takeout version, and I've been really, really, really sad that I couldn't make new videos for you guys, and um, I'm really feeling for all the small businesses out there uh, who are struggling to survive, so I highly encourage you guys to order from some of these places that I'm going to recommend today, tomorrow, and the day after, because I can't eat all these sandwiches in one day. So today is, is the Bon Mi Vietnamese sub episode. And the first place that we're gonna try out is Oh Bon Mi, which is on Kingsway. I will leave a street view of where this place is. And I'm totally not affiliated with DoorDash, although I did work for them once. Uh, so let's go. I have the pork sub and also their deluxe cold cut sub. I've had it before, they're great. Uh, also check out their Vietnamese cold coffee. Mm. All right, so let's do the cold cut first. Oh, that's, this looks so fresh and amazing. Mm. The one thing I've noticed about their bread here, it doesn't cut the roof in your mouth. I've had it maybe three times now. This is my fourth. And I've hadn't had any issues with like you know, peeling skin or anything on the roof. So, uh, props to Obani for making a awesome uh, sub. This is pretty amazing. I'm a big fan of the pickled red veg and the parsley and the cilantro. If there is cilantro in there. I think it's parsley. I can never tell the difference, can you? But overall, it's just that freshness in your mouth. For six dollars, you can get a foot long. You can't get that at Subway. Like, why Why would you even bother with Subway when you can order from a small business like this? Okay, the lemongrass pork on me. Give it a try. Mm. Shit. Dropping pork. Bear is like waiting for his share. He's down here. I'll show you guys. So, Bear. Belly scratches. We've been uh, rekindling our uh, bromance. Here's. So yeah, uh, on to the next one. And there's not gonna be any transition to like driving or anything, so it might just be me playing video games. We'll see. Day two. All right, another day, another banh mi. And today we got a bean banh mi from Kingsway. Uh, it's near Kingsway and Let's say Night Street. I got the five spice chicken and their triple meat, which is like a um, pig ear, pork belly, and kind of like a ham. Just give it a shot, see if it's any good. It's a little bit soggy. The bread is exactly how I remember it. A little bit chewy, not like super fresh and easy to bite into. The taste is there though. Mixed with the mayo, it's pretty good. Ordered one of their coffee as well. It's not as strong as uh, Oban Mi, so I'm not exactly sure if it's a Vietnamese drip. Mine has a little bit of uh, coffee jellies in the bottom. Okay, to the triple meat. This one's supposed to be like a cold cut, but there's a very strong taste of the pate that over powers everything else. The five spice chicken is definitely better. I don't think I have anything else more else to say about bean bon me, so until tomorrow. One eternity later.
six and a half hours later. This week's winner for Ban Mi Takeout goes to Oh Ban Mi. Their cold cuts are great. The bread is always fresh and it doesn't cut the roof through your mouth. And they have great options for people. Um, for example, they don't like, you know, cold cuts or the pate. They had cooked meats such as, you know, their lemongrass pork, uh, which is a awesome, awesome uh, option. And uh, they also have the Vietnamese coffee, which is uh, nice and strong, uh, very good with the condensed milk. I highly re I recommend that. And overall, just good price. I would say they're not overpriced on their menu on DoorDash. It's still $6, $5.50 or $6.50 at max, I think. Uh, honorable mention goes to uh, Bale for uh, an awesome sandwich today, but uh, Obami just really kicked it up a notch uh, with their flavor there. So thanks for watching and uh, thank you uh, everyone uh, who supported uh, us in the past and I uh, hope you guys are staying safe. And also thank you to our frontline workers uh, who are still out there battling this COVID-19. So uh, I hope to see you guys soon, maybe for a donut video. Also, I do understand that DoorDash, Uber, and Skip the Dishes, they are taking a huge significant chunk out of uh, local businesses. So if you can, make sure you call in and do the pickup option. But if you can't and you're working, but you still want to support local businesses, go ahead, use those apps. All right, see you next time.